The, I mean, the first thing I'd like to comment on is your necklace. Yeah. That right? is awesome. And, yeah. and your teeth. Okay, sure. you are winning the jewelry jewelry award so far here this weekend. Yeah, most definitely, got to, got to stand out in some type of way. Yeah, you know? you, like you, you stand out in a lot of ways. How did you? You got a bunch of different pieces. Like how? Did, I mean, the jeweler. We saw what you did with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Right. Are you always kind of like dabbling in something new? Uh, I took a break from it. Not gonna lie, this is probably my first time wearing my chain in like in a while. Right. I got a few different pieces. You know. Uh, I am a fan of jewelry for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. All right. What's your other piece that you go to other than, you know, what's your, your regular everyday uh, one? It's an SG. SG with like uh, number one on the bill. So it's my logo. Right. You know, so that's more, that's more smooth. Okay. You know? All right. I like it. He's a DB right here. Two years in the NFL, you're already one of the best corners, if not the best corner in the NFL. Which year was better for you, rookie year or this year? Um, I would say this year. You know, um, I feel like I wasn't targeted as much. And that's the respect that the offensive coordinators, the coaches, the quarterbacks have for me. Um, I feel like I learned way more after my rookie season. So I went into year two, like, knowing more. So I was more confident each and every game. You know, when I was a rookie, it's like I really didn't know everything that I wanted to know. And there's still things that I'm learning right now, you know. I'm, I'm always being a sponge. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm always trying to learn from, from different guys, different cornerbacks. You know, I was at the Pro Bowl, Pat Sertain, Jalen Ramsey, Denzel Ward, and even some guys who are not there, DJ Reed. You know, I'm always trying to learn from other guys so I can see how I can get better. What's the best tip you've gotten from one of those other guys? Um, I remember Jalen, a long time ago, he just told me, like, don't make the moment bigger than what it is, you know? And uh, that just stuck with me all the way. So now, like, you know, we be having them primetime games. You know, them, them primetime games can be, you know, huge, you know, and they could be, they could rattle some people. So, you know, I'm always calm and collected, you know, never letting the moment be too big. Who, who like, you've made the game look easy right from the get-go, right? But what, like, in your mind from the NFL, you know, college in the NFL, give me one thing that's maybe been easier than you thought it would be. And then one thing that you've gone, damn, this is this is harder. This is a this is work every week uh, in, in that department. I mean, I'll probably say that the time of like meetings and everything and training camp, uh, it was harder than I expected. Cause I thought in the, in the NFL, I thought it was just like I thought everything was easy. Right. Like you do get a little bit more time, like off season wise right. and stuff like that. But so the that's season, the easy part. But the season part, like. In the season, you gotta whatever you gotta get done in the off season, you gotta get it done. Cause like when the season start, you know you gotta be locked in. Do you realize what you're doing right now? Like, do you realize that you are first team All Pro your first two years in the NFL? Like, uh, I, I you do you quiz. know the other guys that pop have done quiz. that? There's only like there's only you're <laughs> one of three people in the history of football. I don't really, I don't really overthink it like. You know what I mean? I'll just right. take it one day at a time. Like, I'm just trying to keep doing what I'm doing for the city of Detroit. You know, I'm trying to be able to just be a provider, you know, for my family. So it's like, I'm always humble. I'm never getting cocky off my accolades or anything like that because I know in the snap of a finger it can be gone. So, you know, I'm just trying to stay consistent, stay healthy, and just keep doing what I'm doing. Lawrence Taylor, Micah Parsons are the only other two people that do what you're doing. I just, I want to let you know, because I could tell you're not a huge history buff in football, right? I've seen a little bit, like, to know or, or know that. You're just about right now and capitalizing, but it's really cool, man. I hope, you know, we respect it big time. I mean, that's time. amazing. It's that's amazing, incredible. Man. Amazing. Exactly. Because Parsons is on his way to the Hall of Fame. LT is one of the greats of all time, and based on what you've done so far, you you're just on keep your doing way. what you're doing, and you're going to be there. Yeah, that's the plan, man. So what needs to happen next year, other than Aaron Rodgers play more than four snaps, for the Jets to get to where we thought they might be this year? Man, just everybody um, buying in, you know, buying into what Coach Sala, you know, has planned. You know, us just embracing the coaching, us just embracing our, the, the brotherhood, you know, the bond. You know, because when, when, you, when you form a brotherhood, you know that you're going to go out there and dominate. You're going to have your brothers back. So, you know, us just playing for one another, that's, that's all it takes. You, um, I'm sorry, I'm messing with my can't hear return or anything, but what, I, what, I, what is it about Detroit, all right? My best friend 
and the Tampa Bay Bucks, right, was Dwight Smith. I don't expect you to know him. He had two pick sixes in the Super Bowl, right? Mm. Dwight, Dwight was the man. What is it about Detroit that just has this, I love the lights, I love to show you what I got, like I'm the man and just eat it? Like, well, Tell me about that mentality. Yeah, it's, the, it's the grit, you know. Um, Detroit, all the lights and everything like that, it's not really all in Detroit, you know. When you play those high school games, they kind of dry. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Texas football, Arizona, right. Cali football, you know. So it's like when we see those lights, it's like we want to make the most out of that opportunity. Right. We're not used to that. You didn't get big high school crowd, exactly. like 20,000 at a high school game. Exactly. So now you're like, I'm here and I, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like this is where I should have been. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So that's all it is. It's a mentality thing. You know what I'm saying? We just always grateful for the opportunities that we receive. Yeah. You know what I mean? You oh, – go, go ahead, Mike. What's the best thing you can tell us about the man who's coached you two years in the NFL, Robert Sala? Um, you know, he's from Dearborn, Michigan, which is technically Detroit. You know, so that's my guy, you know. He always – he's one of the ones who, if I'm doing good, he's going to find the things that I could be better at. And I always appreciate him for doing that. I always respect coaches even more, you know, for being able to do that, you know, and not just – being like a yes man, yes coaching, it's just like, are you doing good? Keep doing what you're doing. It's always, you doing good, keep doing what you're doing. But this could be better as well. So, man, just always having him around, he's extremely vocal, you know. Having a coach like that that's confident at what he do, yep. you know what I mean? He always get us prepared to play. You know, it's just up to us to execute. Got that great energy, Salah. That's what we sure. always love watching about him. His vein starts popping out of his neck like yeah. a psycho and all that. Sure. Um, all right, like you're pretty real. I want to know, like, who do you look at as far as one of your peers at corner that you go, damn, that guy's legit at corner. And then who's the guy at receiver that you've had to cover so far the first two years where you were like, damn, he's better than I thought he was, or I know it's a, it's a tough task facing him? Um, <clears throat> I can't just name one. You know, it's yeah. always like, like, like corner, you know, I'm going to think uh, Pat Sertain. Zaylen Ramsey, um, who else? Jair. Right. Denzel. Yeah, uh, Diggs. Jalen Jalen Johnson. Yeah. Trayvon Diggs. Like, those some, those some dogs. Those are your guys. DJ Reed. Right. You know, it's just guys that really do it. Michael Carter II. You know, I could name a whole whole list of guys. And like, receiver, you know, Tyreek. He always a tough guy to cover. Um, what do you got to remind yourself with Tyreek? Right, like he's the fastest guy in football, right? Yeah. So how do you attack him or play him maybe compared to other people? You just gotta be patient. You know what I mean? He like a jitterbug. Like, right. The the moves that he make, it don't slow him down. Like he, he he can do a lot, but it's like it's not gonna slow him down at, right. when it comes to releasing, you know? And then other guys like you got this guy's why I haven't won against like Calvin Ridley. You know, Calvin Ridley, that was my favorite receiver in um, high school. Right. So in high school when I was playing receiver, he was a guy, him and Chad Ochocinco was the two guys that I was watching to try to get better at receiver, you know? Gotcha. Then you got guys like Amari Cooper, you know, route runners. Great route runner. You know, I can name, bro, I, I can name so many. It's a, it's a lot of guys out there, man. Yeah. What made you go <clears throat> toward corner instead of receiver since you used to play both? Um, when I was in high school, just playing against Cass Tech, and um, our, my, our corner and our safety ran into each other. Our corner ended up breaking his jaw. Our safety was cool. I wasn't even training for, cor for corners, so that was the crazy thing. I was still playing receiver. They threw me out there against Cass Tech. Like, that's a, a rival. You know, this guy, it's a lot of great players that come out of there. Right. Like, you know, so I went in there, I dominated, and um, yeah, it was history ever since then. How much does having played receiver help you play corner? Oh, a lot. It's like you know what the receiver's thinking. Um, you know what the quarterback's thinking to a certain extent, you know. It's the NFL, so you're not always going to know what they're thinking. But yeah, um, ball skills is just so much, so, so many things that that receiver can, can do to help me, you know, uh, become a corner. All right, so now I want to <laughs> ask you about quarterbacks. Your quarterback. Tell us, like, I know we didn't get to play a lot, but Aaron Rodgers, the impression he left on you this whole year and kind of what he meant to your, meant to your Jets football team. Man, he's, he's a true leader. You know, uh, it's always great to have him around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's the best quarterback I've ever seen. Like, yeah. I've ever played with. It's, the things he do and the throws he can make, like, 
I've never seen them before. Not in the game, not in practice with my other quarterbacks. I just never seen them. So, what is know. it though? The suddenness, the velocity, the accuracy. What everything, is everything? Everything you just named. You know, he gonna zip the ball. I remember this is one play in practice. He threw the ball to the receiver. I almost picked it. My hands was there. The ball went through my hands. My my gloves had burnt like burnt marks. Yeah, because it spent it spent yeah, so it went hard. That, it went fast. that fast. Right. Like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, bro, this is the first time this has ever happened. So, right. You know what I mean? Like he's he's just different. You got him that necklace. Did you give him a bill after and be like, hey, I got you this, but here, like you're Aaron Rodgers, you got all this money, you pay for it. No, no. We, you we, picked we took up the tab. Yeah. Damn, you are you are rich. Damn, you are rich. Nah, I was, <laughs> it wasn't like that. It was more more of a gift, you know, from right. my jeweler. You know, my uh, jeweler, he's a huge fan of uh, Aaron. Right. So, you know, I helped him come up with it, and, you know, we made that happen. You know my favorite story I heard of you the whole year this year when you were at the Knicks game and you saw oh, Jessica man. Alba yeah. with him and you didn't know who that was. And then it was all about the, don't you going to get caught up? And you said, how could I get caught up? I'm the catch. Nah, that was a great quote. I don't remember. I don't remember the, the, the specifics of. Yeah, yeah. I, remember, I remember that's what I said, but it wasn't like getting caught up. Like, like it, it was went, something it else. It went like that. It was something, it was something else, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I seen her before. I just didn't know, I didn't know her actual name. You know? Right, right. I got that's you. That was. All Sauce right. is here with us today. Thanks to the folks of Verizon. Tell us a little bit more about what you have going on. And it's always great to be here. I'm honored to be here on behalf of Verizon, the official 5G network of the NFL. Now, they're the network that the NFL fans, players, and coaches rely on. So it's always great, you know, to work with them. You know, I'm a Verizon fan. I've always been a Verizon fan. I'm a Verizon fan. guy with you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, <clears throat> and this Saturday, I'll be at the Runner Playlist Live this Saturday night. Also on behalf of Verizon with uh, me, Destroying, and a couple more people, we'll be creating our Super Bowl playlist. Cool, man. I like that. That's really cool to be a part sure. of. All right, go party with I Sauce Gardner we and go. Verizon on I Saturday night. I love the saying, all gas, no brakes. I love that saying. But there's brakes for a reason. Don't you yeah. have all, all gas and some brakes? <laughs> oh, yeah. You got you to gotta read between that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kosala, I don't think he have brakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all gas. He's just always going. But you know, as a player, you gotta be able to. You, you gotta know when to at least tap him, yeah, right? Yeah, tap, tap the brakes a little bit. Yeah. All right, there he is, Sauce Gardner, two-time All-Pro, joining Lawrence Taylor and Micah Parsons as Legend. the only three to be first-team All-Pros in their first two NFL seasons. Let that sink in, Sauce. Yeah. Awesome career so far. We look forward to seeing what you do next. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.